Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will see the rotate matrix problem and in this problem we will rotate the matrix by 270 degrees in the clockwise direction. It is the same problem as rotating it in the anti-clockwise direction by 90 degrees. So in the previous two videos we have already seen how to rotate by 90 degrees and 180 degrees most efficiently. So you can watch those videos and the link will be in the description below. You can also practice the problem by going to rotate image problem which is from lead code number 48. So at the end of the video we will be discussing all possible follow up problems so stay tuned till the end. I would like to announce about our DSA live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just 3 months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number. Let us now look at the problem statement. In this problem we are given an M by N matrix. And we are required to rotate the matrix by 270 degrees in the clockwise direction and this will be the target matrix which we want to achieve. You will note that the row count on the given matrix becomes the column count on the target matrix and the column count on the given matrix becomes the row count on the target matrix if it is a rectangular matrix. It should also work for the square matrices as well. So square matrix is easy hence I have taken the rectangular matrix. Now what are the possible solutions? One possible solution can be you apply the code of 90 degrees clockwise rotation and you repeat it three times and hence you will get the 270 degrees clockwise rotation. The time complexity to get 90 degrees clockwise rotation is order of mn and even if you repeat it three times 3 being a constant we will drop it off and hence the total time complexity of the same solution will be order of mn. Now solution number 2 can be a combination of 180 degrees and 90 degrees rotation. You can first do 180 degrees clockwise rotation followed by 90 degrees clockwise rotation. So this is a 2 step process instead of the previous 3 step process. Again the time complexity will be order of mn because even if you multiply by 2, 2 being a constant it will be dropped off. Now we do not want to do all these steps. We just want to get it done in a single step or in the most efficient way possible. Now one such solution can be if you get the M by N matrix that is rectangular or a square matrix you find the transpose of the matrix. I have already explained this how to do using code in my 90 degrees clockwise rotation so you can go there and watch all the details about how to code it. So a transpose is nothing but converting the rows to columns and columns to rows. Now once you have found the transpose matrix you just have to reverse the columns and if you do that you actually convert your given matrix to a 270 degrees clockwise rotated matrix and this is your resultant matrix. So this is just a two step process finding the transpose of the matrix and reversing each column and the time complexity is order of mn because we are going through all the elements Total elements are mn elements and we are going through all the elements exactly two times. Hence the time complexity is order of mn. Now let's look at the follow up problems. The follow up problems can be rotation of 90 degrees anti clockwise. It is the same problem as rotation of 270 degrees clockwise. Rotating a matrix by 180 degrees anti clockwise which is the same as 180 degrees clockwise. And rotating the matrix by 270 degrees anti clockwise which is the same as 90 degrees clockwise rotation. And uh, all these problems can be asked both for square matrices and the rectangular matrices. So whatever we have seen in the previous two videos and including this the third video, every solution will actually work for the square and the rectangular matrices so you don't have to worry about that. Your solution should not be using extra space that means your solution should be an in place algorithm. It should not be out of place algorithm. Out of place algorithms are those where you require extra space. I mean if you copy out the entire row or column somewhere else and again copy it back into the matrix in order to modify the matrix then that is something which is out of place that means requiring extra space that is not the most optimal solution. So you can be asked to discuss the trade off between the out of place and in place algorithms. So this trade off was already discussed by me in my previous two videos you can go there and see the follow up section. 
So these are the possible follow up problems. If you want to get the PDF of this entire lecture, you can follow us on Telegram and you will find the list of all the previous PDFs including this video as well. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.